thank you for stopping by and tuning into my show. If you're new here, my name is JB The Mentor. And today I want to focus on five things that you never allow the mother of your children to do. So stay tuned. Okay, I'm back. If you enjoy content like this, please hit that like button, that subscribe button, that bell right there in the middle so that when I release new content, you'll be the first ones to receive it. So, I hate to tell you this, but some of you discovered this already. When you decide to get into a relationship, sometimes those relationships, they don't last forever. And if you find yourself in that predicament, there's some choices that you will have to make to get through those uncomfortable moments. And one of the things that you'll have to do is to decide maybe for 10 years, five years, or maybe just for a short period of time until you have things under control, is that you'll have to take a stand in terms of allowing yourself to take center stage and sometimes when. And what do I mean by when? When you split up or you get a divorce, the children, in most cases, not all the time, they're with the mother. And even if they're not with the mother, you'll find yourself at this conundrum where she believes that she has all the say-so, all of the authority, and you have very little. And therefore, that gives her the right to talk to you and to deal with you any way that she feels pleased. And that's not a healthy relationship, and that's definitely not something that the children should bear witness to. So we're gonna talk about the five things that you should never allow to happen when you're no longer with the mother of your children because it's not healthy and it's toxic for your children to experience this. So these five tips that I intend to share with you is to make sure that you win. And when I talk about winning, I'm not talking about you walking away saying that things are gonna be exactly the way I would like them to be. I'm talking about you winning the battle of just being a great dad, just being a father that's engaged, a father that understands that at this point that it's about winning peace for your children. It's about having the moments that you can hold on to that you can make your own with your child or your children. And to be able to do that, some things that you must eliminate. Let's start with the first tip, which is you never allow the mother of your children to dictate when you see your children, when you pick them up, how much time you have with them, and ultimately what you're going to be doing with your children. That the two of you help create this little person or this big person now, and that that is a joint venture, that's a joint effort. And so therefore, you have equal say in what's going on. Because if you allow her to determine the rules of when you can see your child, that won't be the only thing she'll be deciding that you can do with your child. And one thing leads to another, and before you know it, you have no say-so, and every aspect of your relationship with this child will be dialed back. So please, the terms and conditions of when you see your child is a joint effort, and never believe that you have 25% and she has 75%. And so two is a biggie. The second tip is this. Never allow the mother of your children to berate you. Yell, scream, be demonstrative. Uh, give your children the impression that you can be talked to anyway and that you can be disrespected. Um, at the end of the day, your children sees you as a hero, as a superhero. And superheroes, yes, their job is to bring peace. They're there to save the day. But if you're allowing the mother of your children 
to do with you as she pleases, at her own leisure, at her will, then you'll be sending a terrible message to your child. And that will be one of weakness, one of surrender. And this child is contemplating in the back of his or her mind, will you be able to withstand the long haul of providing for him or her and having them in your life because you can't even stand up to their mother to make sure that it's a balanced effort in terms of taking care of them. Now a third demon that you never want to take place in the relationship is this. You never allow the mother of your children to do this. To talk about new girlfriends or the woman that you have in your life. That's someone special because the truth is that new girlfriend, that someone special has nothing to do with how much you see your child and when you see your child. And when you get into those kind of emotional back and forth about what you're doing with your personal life, it sends the message to your child that that child is gonna be replaced because you have someone new in your life. And since you're talking about this, they're wondering, is this the moment that my father calls me and tells me that he's not going to be able to pick me up anymore because he's enjoying life with his new girlfriend. And that is definitely not the message that you want to send to your child. So leave girlfriends and that important someone out of the conversation that involves a direct view of your children. That's another conversation at another time. So number four. So you gotta look out for this one because they love to hit you in the head with this one. Everything is your fault. The divorce, the separation, the fact that you live in two different places, um, their level of happiness, their level of comfort. You can't manage to do anything right. Everything is your fault. That is another piece that you get away from also. Whether it's your fault, it's her fault, or the two of you together, that is not a conversation that you have in front of your children. Again, your purpose and your goal is to make sure that you are the best dad that you can possibly be. And those personal issues is for another place, another time, outside of the view and the listening of your children. So my final piece of advice to you is this. Never allow the mother of your children to introduce child support into the parenting equation. That is a conversation that takes place in the courtroom with a judge and you handle that business over there. That's not anything that you talk about in front of your children. That's another set of politics. And right now, the only politics that you need to be concerned with is how engaged, involved, connected, and willing to be this extraordinary dad for the health of this newfound family, and most importantly, the health of those children. Great dads are doing great things every day, in every way, all the time. Why don't you be a part of that army?